Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. On Lake St. Clair, Harsons Island Delta, in Michigan, on the Great Lakes. What we're doing today is we're going to put the seawall pump in. I'm going to show you a couple of quick things. First of all, this is called the foot valve. This is what's down in the water, and this is a check valve. So what happens is, is when this fills with water and our pump gets running, this holds the water in the pump so that the pump doesn't run out of water. This is one of my favorite unions for doing a seawall pump. It's just a simple PVC union, but you can see it's got a O-ring on it. So I can tighten it up to the pump with the O-ring very easily. So now I'm going to show you how to prep this. So we need to fill our pickup tube with our foot valve on the end of it, we need to fill it with water. Otherwise, the pump has to lift, clear all this air to get water into the pump. It's not going to happen. You have to prime the pump. The whole intake system has to be airtight and full of water. So watch this. I'm going to take the foot valve, and I'm going to shove it down in the water. What's happening here is when I shove the foot valve down, water is coming up the pipe. I can hear it coming. The weight of the water is climbing up the pipe. The check valve is holding the water in the pipe. There. So you can see our intake is now full of water. I didn't have to fill with the hose. It's a goofy trick, but it works. Check to make sure the O-ring's in place and we can install our intake. Because the O-ring, this does not have to be tightened all that tight, but it does have to be airtight or this will not work. I took the gauge off the pump housing. I could have done it up here at the half inch plug also. I'm filling the pump housing with water. This will get the impeller totally submerged. Too much air in there and this pump will not go. There. We'll take a quick check. Success. We have a primed pump. How's that grab you? We're up and running. There you have it. Our pump's installed. Now we can water the grass using lake water. And all it's going to cost us electricity from MrHardware.com.